the full day at the shop, episode 15. Um, we're here. Logan's here early today. It's his yep. birthday. Wish the, wish, the guy, wish the guy a happy birthday. Yeah, it is. What's it's not? It's the seventh. Well, everyone, anyways, wish him a happy birthday because next week it'll be too late. So, woo! Happy birthday, Logan! Woohoo! <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, we should have a full day ahead of us. It's only 12 o'clock. Um, we're open till 8. So, we've got a long day ahead of us. So, uh, hopefully. We can uh, get some good buyouts on camera, like we always do. And um, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and get some, into some new arrivals. Anything uh, off the top of your head? Oh yeah. The Amma Manier Air Jordan 4. We've got quite a few pairs of these, I think like four or five pairs right now. We have a 12, two nines, a seven, and maybe something else. If not, I think, oh no, the eight and a half sold. So that's it, seven, 12, and nine. Um, great shoe though. I already got my personal pair at home. Really cool shoe. Uh, they look a lot better in hand. The Nike Air on the back is so dope. Um, good materials per usual from Amal Manier. Really nice, cool to dinner liner. Um, Logan's not a big fan of these for some reason. Yeah, Matt's so always like you. <laughs> you didn't like him at first either. No, no, <laughs> no. no. I always like these. Biggest flip flop of all time for you, honestly. No. Oh, well, I'll actually tell you which one is the biggest flip flop of all time for me. The off white fives, like for real. That was my oh, biggest flip flop of all time. But everyone flip flopped on those. The Off-White Fives, I cooked, and then they're probably like one of my favorite shoes in my collection now. I wear those so much. I wear those like once a week. But yeah, um, I'm on fours, probably one of the better ones for this year. I think this will make a lot of people's top three, top five sneakers of the year. Um, also, I brought my pair from home here, the Reverse Shattered Backboards, size 11 and a half. Um, we have them at a pretty good price, 750. They're very, very, very clean. Uh, these are like almost 2,000 2, on StockX right now. So on everyone's favorite app. So, hey man, come come grab them. Worn by me once. So yeah, really nice pair though. Um, just didn't need them. I have the 1.0s. I don't wear the 1.0s enough to need the 2.0s. So I was like, you know what? I probably just need one orange shoe in my collection. I don't, I don't really need another one. And I got the orange lobsters. Gonna be coming here soon as well. Um, Dead stock Travis Fours Logan. Can you hand me those? The Got a DS pair of these. We actually bought these in a lot with the Fragment Lows as well. Those sold the same day we got them. Um, but yeah, the Travis Scott Fours Classic. This guy's stepping out today, so we'll let him go first. This guy's all right. So, uh, old Bulls Rap T. Uh, look at the back. It's from Paxson. You look at the back. No, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, shout, shout out Victor, man. Uh, he hooked it up, man. Lil V. Paid a good price for it. VJ. If you know, you know. You know what these go for. Anyways, moving on. Uh, cargos, typical. Uh, and lost and founds. You found them. They were lost and now they're found. So, it's another typical looking fit for you, man. So, uh, on to this guy. Um, Stussy hat, Stussy hoodie. Pretty sure I'm wearing a Stussy tee, too. Let's just double. Let me fact check that. Yep, Stussy tee. Um, Stussy pant. And the Pro B Olives, finally. We did it. This is like one of the one shoes that Logan had that I really wanted. Um, and actually someone DM'd us from the videos and said that they had them. So that was pretty cool. Didn't think someone would actually be watching the YouTube and have these in my size with box and everything. But yeah, they came with box. I paid 500 bucks for them, pretty good. They're super clean. And yeah, I'm really happy to have these. I think yeah. they did good. You think so? Yeah, if you guys haven't watched already, uh, go check out our sneaker collection videos. It's popping right now. It's doing pretty good. One of our best videos so far. But um, yeah, if you guys haven't seen it already, a lot of people wanted to see it, and we dropped it last week. So go check it out if you haven't already. Give it a look. Just trying to sell these, bro? Yes. What do you add on these? Uh, four. Four. Are you negotiable at all? Mm, not really, not on those. Can't do any better than four. That's like more than market right now. Just any better? Not really, because that size is, is kind of hard. What did you want on these? Um, I looked on Go. See, in Sake, it's hard to find that condition in that size. What were you thinking? Like, I wouldn't go any less than 640 then. Okay, I'll probably just hold off on these then for now. Okay. Uh, can't do 380, just $20 less than what you're asking on these. 
No, because uh, I was I was gonna post this up on Offer Up before. You're here now, though, bro. <laughs> Just uh, save yourself the time, the gas, the meetup. I take eight for both. If not, I'll just hold off on those and I'll take these for 390. I feel like that's pretty fair, bro. Well, I guess Martin, pay out on these is 340. Yeah, I know, but I want to get rid of these. That's the thing. So, 850 for both. I didn't both. know y'all were going to buy them. I'll take them. It's just got to be for the right price. Just, I don't want to invest too much in used ones right now. I need. I honestly need dead stock stuff for Christmas because a lot of people don't really like to gift used pairs. You know what I mean? Like people don't like to do that. So I'm really just trying to buy dead stock at the moment. I still take them, they just have to be decently priced. Can't do any better than 850? No, not if I'm taking both. Yeah, if you take both, you can't do any more than 850. No, not if, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, I can't okay. do any better if I'm taking both. All right, well, yeah, that buyout didn't work out as planned, but, um, you know, you win some, you lose some. It's just, he wanted a little high on the breads, and I didn't want to pay up on those. It was a good price, probably, for a personal pair. I think you came in here wanting like 700, 650, 700, which is probably what we're gonna sell them for. Um, so it was a good price for a personal pair, like if someone wanted to buy them off strict, right off him. But then he told me, I offered him 380 on the lost and founds and he told me, it's okay, I'll just list them on offer it for 400. And then I ended up just caving and saying, yeah, I'll do the 400 because we need that shoe. And he said, no, you know, yeah, you can't win them all. But yeah, I mean, we're paying pretty good on the lost and founds if anyone wants to come sell us some. 400 is like literally lowest ask. I, I only offered him $20 less than what he wanted at, at first when he first came in here, but. Yeah, and then he said he was gonna list them on offer up. I was like, well, I'll save you the time and I'll pay you the 400, you know what I mean? To like, don't have to go out and meet someone and get robbed or waste your gas or, you know what I mean? Just offer up's kind of a pain, so, or get flaked on. So I was just trying to save him the time and I was like, you know what, yeah, I'll do the 400. Cause like, again, like I said, we need that shoe, but it didn't work out. Keep on chugging. You guys have mine. I'm sex. Oh yeah. Oh, it did today? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did. Size nine. Is your dead stock? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you have prices in mind, bro? Uh. Cowboys colors. Seventy. I went down that much. What do you have on the windows? Two seventy. Yeah, they're just kind of like all over the place. Last sale was two ninety two. Um, are you negotiable on either, on both? Um, I'd be at two on these, bro. Two? Yeah. I know the sale's kind of high, but the bid's at like 240, so. It's nice also, shoe. it's a nice shoe, it's just a tough size as well, seven and a half. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a hard size for me. Yeah. I'd take those for two. What would you offer me on these? Uh, I'd be at 150 on those, just 20 under what you were asking. Did you move me at 160 on this one? I can't, man. Not, this is a tough shoe for me to move. I've never even sold a pair of these. Really? I know. Well, actually, if you want to go grab that 7.5, I sold it to Daniel for his aunt. He did? Yeah, the yellow I pair. I tried these on, but these aren't, they're not comfortable anymore. Yeah, I had, I had a pair on the original restock, yeah. or the original drop. Did you keep them? No, I sold them here. That pair sold to blue. That was it. So it'd be 350 for both if you want to do that, bro. I brought a few more other pairs They're in the car. Yeah, bring them in, bro. I'd, I'd like to take as much as you got. Is it all new stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, bring them in. All right, so he said he's got some more stuff in the car, so he's gonna go grab it. Um, hopefully we can make a deal. It's uh, the Tom Sachs, the general purpose pair. Uh, this just restocked today, so we'll probably have to drop the price on the pair we have right now. Still don't think we have them like that, that high uh, compared to market, but yeah. Size nine men's on these. These were, these were, were these women's? I think they were women's, yeah, seven and a half men's. Oh, is that it? Seven and a half men's? Oh, it's a tough size. Whatever. Seven and a half men's. Um, and then a seven, I guess that would make sense. Seven and a half Midnight Navy, go to one. Um, it's kind of a tough size, but some girls do wear it. It's like a nine women, so some girls do wear it. But he's got more stuff, so hopefully we can make a deal for everything. Oh, the neutral load's actually better. I thought they were going to be the highs. So the highs do not move for some reason. Yeah, cool. I just want to go one by one, bro. What do you want on the neutrals? Um, 230. 230. Um, it's a little high. I like to be at 170 on those. Could you do two? I couldn't, bro. That's highest bid. Yeah, I could do two. 
turn off on that one. Can you do 180? I have to, I have to do you can't do any better than two, because. Yeah, I mean, payout's 170, so I can do 180 on him. It's 10 over payout. I keep that one in mind. You said 180? Yes, sir. Yeah, I can do 180 on him. I'm just gonna add it up. So we're at 530 for these right here. Mocha, seven and a half. Where are we at? Uh, Check these. This is one of the most fake shoes on the market. Yeah. So. Gotta be careful when you're buying these. 430? 430. Well, that's a little high too. What were you thinking? High speed is four. I want to get back what I paid. 370. Pounds 340. Good. That's high speed, man. I, can't, I really can't. 370 would make it an even nine, which I like that. Even numbers. Uh, yeah. Just add it on there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Granite. You need five hundred. Uh, is it, it eight and a half? Uh, they're all right. They're not great, but I've sold I've sold a size twelve on these before. Where you add on, where are you at on them? Two twenty. I've run one eighty on them. Cause they're not the best movers, but. They're dead stock. I need dead stock shoes for Christmas, so. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. right. What do you want on the gray pair? 320. On these, I'd be a little lower, bro. It's a tough size, and I really don't sell Sakai's like that. Yeah. If I were to take them, I'd be comfortable at like 260. 260. I know it's a little low, but it's just it's a really hard size for me to move, and I'll keep those. it's a Sakai. Keep those. Okay, that's cool. Uh, were you cool with the 1080 on here? Mm -hmm. What did you say? 380. 370, I believe. I'm gonna hold this one. Can you do any better for me? I need that shoe. It's probably the one I want most out of everything that you brought in. Just let, let let's, let's just get the deal done. Just let me know what you're at on it. I like to just get this deal done. Give me four. Give me at three eighty. Three ninety. Come on, bro. Three eighty. The bid payout's three forty. I'm gonna hold, hold off on this one. Fine. Three ninety. Throw it in there. Three ninety. Yeah, that's fine. Throw it in there. Three ninety. Yeah. You win. Uh, <laughs> neutral grays. I believe it was one seventy. And then we agreed to. I think we agreed to one eighty. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do. Okay. Let's, that's cool. Let's, that's cool. Let's, that's seven fifty so far. And then, I know the general purpose was 150. I'm firm at that, if you're that's cool with that. Fine. Okay, Okay, so that's, that's nine. nine. Mm -hmm. yeah. and then these were, I want to say two, but let me just double check. Yeah, these would be two. Yeah, that was right. So that'd be 1100, if you want to do that. Could you get? 1100. That's cool, cool. You have Zell? Yes. All right, cool, I'll Zell you. All right, so that went a little smoother than our last buyout, right? <laughs> oh, um, but uh, we got some uh, good sizes. We have we sell to a lot of girls around here and a lot of kids, so smaller sizes are decent for us. Um, some all dead stock too. So I really need dead stock stuff for Christmas. So if you guys would like to come sell us your dead stock pairs, please do. Uh, we've got some midnight navy ones, seven and a half. Um, the general purpose Tom Sacks. These just restocked today, so they went down a bit, but we got them for a good price. So. I don't think we can mess up too bad on those. A really good pair for us, the neutral gray lows. These things move extremely well. And then once again, just a good size, seven and a half. It's like a nine, eight and a half woman. So girls will definitely buy those. Um, another really good one for Christmas, mochas. We need as much dead stock pairs of these as we can get. So always happy to buy a dead stock pair of mochas. And then just some random um, 500s, the granites. Like I said, I've sold a pair of these before, so I'm sure they'll do well again. They're dead stock, so we need them. Good buyout, though. I'm gonna give this one up to Logan because this is the he's kind of the, the football guy. I was about to say soccer, but football. Um, World Cup, man. The uh, group stages are over, and uh, what's going on in your head, Logan? Can we get like you know, a little overview of what's going on, the games, the teams, the players, how they've been performing? Just give us an overview. The round of 16 is set. <laughs> 
So <laughs> let's go ahead and get into it. Now that the group stages are over, what what games are you looking forward to in round 16? I'm really looking forward to, to USA Netherlands. I think I think USA pulls it out, and I think they go to the Elite Eight. USA wins in penalties against Netherlands. I've got 1-0. I've got USA 1-0. One, one Argentina, Australia, I think Argentina wins 2-0. France, Poland, I think it's going to be closer than people think, honestly. I think I think it's going to be 2-1 France. Uh, England, Senegal, 3-0 England. It's coming home. Uh, Japan, Croatia, I think people are fucking sleeping on the Japanese, man. Yeah. I think they're sleeping on Japan. I think Japan wins this 2-0. Mm. I'll, I'll even go one further. Uh... I have Matthew's prediction right here as well. Matthew's, Matthew's with me, but 1 0. So. 1 0. Croatia's good, so I, don't, it's don't a close game. I think Japan gets a late goal. And uh, Morocco, Spain. I got Spain 2 0. Matthew's with me on that too. I have, I have his prediction right here. Uh, Brazil, South Korea. Uh, I like South Korea. I think they had a good run, but I think it ends in with, Brazil. In Brazil. Well, not in Brazil, but against Brazil. Yeah. Uh, I think Brazil wins 3-1, and, uh, and then Portugal, Switzerland, I'm going upset, I think Switzerland's winning 1-0. L. I guess we'll see starting Saturday, if you're right, I think a lot, well, a lot of the games will be over by next video, or by the time this is I... uploaded, so I guess we'll see what predictions we got right. But let us know in the comments what y'all are thinking um, for the, the World Cup predictions. Let us know your predictions. I predicted most of the groups right, yes. I got like 5 out of 8 of the groups. Right, so I think that's pretty good. I respect it. Still have a size run of uh, Robin tees available. Uh, we got a few sizes left. The more popular sizes are getting close to get selling out. So, hey, they might be sold out by the time this video gets uploaded because this is a week prior. But um, at this moment, we still have a full size run. So go order your Robin tees if you guys haven't already. They're beautiful. Um, but yeah, like I said, some of those more popular sizes like XLs and larges starting to get a little slim. So go order your tees while you still can. I think we're sold out on like MJ pretty much, except for like double XLs. Kobe's, we might have still a few sizes left, but I know we're sold out in a couple, so. Still some good merch available on the website. Robin Tees are still fully up there, every size. Go get them while you can. All right, so as promised, the last video, um, we're gonna be doing some free shoes every video this December, and today is December 2nd, the first video of December. Uh, we're gonna start it off light with some Vans. There's some brand new pairs of Vans in here. Um, some cool colorways too. But yeah, I so said we're gonna go put them under the tree. And um, hopefully one of our viewers hits. So let's see, let's go put them under right now and um, hide them a little bit so someone can get them. Bull over here next to the Christmas tree, so we're gonna try to make this as incognito as possible so our supporters can actually hit. Watch out for the motor roll. Good call. Watching out for you, man. Good call. For you. Uh, so yeah, let's see how this goes. Post up on the Instagram. Hopefully whoever gets them tags us so that we know y'all got them. <sighs> but let's go, let's go put them in. Starting off December, Throwing a couple pairs of uh, free brand new vans over here next to the Christmas tree. First come, first serve. Um, come get them. If you guys do get them, tag us on Instagram and let us know that you got them. Um, but yeah, just a couple pairs of vans. We'll be doing four more of these throughout the weeks of December. Every Friday, we'll be putting some shoes in the tree at a random time. So turn on your post notifications and they'll get better every week. So stay tuned, guys. Come grab them. Like I said, tag us if you do get them. All right, now turn off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> So he came for the uh, Alma Manier size 12 that we posted yesterday. So you just wanted store credit for them, right? Yeah. Okay. Did you have a price in mind on these? Uh, we're going for about four right now. Brand new size 325. 325. That's like what we sell used pairs at, bro, honestly. Um, uh, so you're doing credit, I can obviously do better, but yeah, I couldn't do 325. I'd probably be like 250 credit. Want to do that? That's cool. Okay. Let me go grab the Almas. There you go, man. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, always a pleasure, man. Thank you. Take it easy. So he traded us the uh, Fire Red. It's a really clean player. He's come in before. He's honestly looked out for us. Um, so I gave him a pretty decent amount of store credit. Uh, super clean, Fire Red 4 in a size 12, good size too. I don't think we have them. We just have a bunch of 11s, but I gave him 250 credit and he got the Almond Air Force. And yeah, I think we're both happy at the end of the day. Took a great pair. Bro, it's good. A great pair. All right, so um, I actually did happen to hit on these the CPFM Grinches. And hear me out. Hear me out. 
<laughs> hear me out. Obviously that picture I just showed you looked terrible, right? But let me show you a picture I sent Raul earlier. I sent it to you, right? The cut version of it? Yeah, what do you think? Hideous, awful, okay, so terrible. This, any way you want this to looks it. a little bit more interesting. And apparently they also come with these swooshes that you can attach to them. So, I think for a little video, we're gonna cut them whenever I get them next week. We'll cut them up for you guys and uh, put that video out so you guys can see what they look like cut. Um, but yeah, man, they're, look, they're looking a little bit interesting like this. I don't know, I think the cut version looks really cool. It's just different, you know what I mean? I like unique stuff. I like I like when brands go out of the out of the box a little bit from, from the normal. Yeah, yeah, you just want to be different. Look at you. You just want to be different. He keeps saying that. It's not even that I want to be different. It's oh, just no, you are different. <laughs> you, you are different. You're different. Trust me. Oh, you're different. Yeah, we've had this conversation a million times. He says this every time. Yeah, he's just different. He doesn't like the Jordan fours and Jordan ones. He's different, guys. <laughs> That's not even true. He's I different. love that. <laughs> I love I love all the classic stuff, but I do like when a company will kind of go out of the box a little bit and see something that a little just different. Yeah, you're just different. You're different. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna cut these up and see how they look, and uh, let us know what y'all's thoughts are in these in the comments, pre-cut and uh, after they've been cut. I think they look pretty cool, trimmed up, and I think they'd even look even cooler with the swooshes. So hopefully my pair comes with swooshes, and we'll put some swooshes on them. But yeah, we'll drop that video for you guys too. Um, here soon you'll see it probably before this video maybe right yeah yeah um so yeah you guys will see the trimmed up version of the cpfm overgrown flea <laughs> ones ass all right that's gonna that's gonna be it for today's episode man uh thanks for watching uh make sure to like and subscribe and uh we'll see you next time peace so i have to switch it up a little bit let him let him get some uh, talking but yeah we'll see you in the next episode guys see y'all for next episode 16 right later See y'all then.